Yeah, the full bag band is actually five saxophones, five trumpets, or maybe four, five trombones, or maybe four, piano, bass, drums, guitar. We often do have a singer with this band as well, but tonight we're just going to do instrumental because we're doing a tribute to the great big bands, and of course, that was a tribute to the great Buddy Rich band. And we're going to be a little heavy on Buddy Rich tonight because we're also featuring Jay Lawrence tonight on the drums because this may... This may just be his last big band concert of a very long and lustrous career. You know, and um, <laughs> not a joke. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, nobody will miss Jay more than I do. <laughs> so, so, here's a great old tune called Witchcraft.
magic of this band is that most bands this size, and there are a number of bands around that are around this size, uh, are playing 18-piece, 19-piece big band charts with a lot less people, and so they're missing a lot of stuff. Every chart we're playing tonight has been totally re-scored for just this combination, so everything you're hearing is everything you're supposed to hear, <laughs> which makes it uh, a little more full than you usually hear from a band this size. Uh, we're going to do a great Stan Kenton. Digging back a little ways on this one. Uh, I remember you. Stan Kenton, I remember you. do a classic Woody Herman chart for you now. These are some of the great big bands of the past, as you know. This one's called the Sig Ep.
Can anybody take a guess what that tune's based on? <laughs> There's a strong clue right in the middle. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba, da. <laughs> Sonny Rollins' tune called Doxy. <laughs> This next tune goes way back to uh, Chick Webb. Anybody remember that band? Great band, um, way back, and uh, very influential on a lot of other people. And John Kirby, uh, a band that came out of that as well. And this was a tune. This was a tune that Ella Fitzgerald loved to do, but we won't do it vocally tonight. It, it's a brand new type of arrangement, though. It's called Undecided. This band has actually been heard a lot south of the point of the mountain, but not a lot north of the point. So we're glad to be able to play up here and expose you to this group. We started the band in 1983. Saxes are all still the original guys. All right. Think, think you got it? All right. Undecided.
Yeah, it's time to feature Jay some more. <laughs> you could get a little bit on this, Jay. Anyway, this is a Buddy Rich. It's actually a Duke Ellington tune, but it's the Buddy Rich version of it. <laughs> it's called In the Mellow Tone.
1962, Stan Getz made a trip to Brazil and made an acquaintance with a great composer named Antonio Carlos Jobim. And uh, we all love so many of his tunes now. Uh, they brought it, uh, there was an album in 1962 uh, that was called Bossa Nova. It's the first time been heard much here. Uh, this is one of the, uh, I won't say lesser known, but it's, I think, one of the great Joe Beam tunes. It's called No More Blues.
Uh, we thought we'd try that. Something we never played before. <laughs> uh, we're gonna. We got a lot of music here, so we never can play all of it. <laughs> as you notice. <laughs> Uh, but we're going to do another Buddy Rich thing. You enjoying hearing Jay play tonight? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was a title of one of his albums and also one of the tunes. I think it was in 1967. Big Swing Face. It's a real juggling act to try to juggle all these pages, a lot of pages. <laughs>
We'd like to feature our lead trumpet player, Austin Robinson, on this next beautiful ballad. This is a Maynard Ferguson version of Angel Eyes, Angel Eyes.
might be a good time to let you know who you're listening to. Uh, you just met Ostie on lead trumpet back here and Ryan Nilsson on the other trumpet part. All the solos back there. And on the trombone, Nelson Campbell. And on the front line, Galen Smith on the baritone sax. Brian Booth, Brian Booth on the tenor sax. These guys are fixtures in the Utah music scene. <laughs> and you know Jay on uh, drums. <clears throat> on the bass, Denson Angelo. And on the piano, Heather Cutler. <laughs> One of the things that Jay does really exceptionally well, most drummers, you know, don't really know of theory and music and stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, you know what you call a guy that hangs out with a lot of musicians, right? A drummer, yeah. <laughs> but that's not Jay. He plays great vibes. And one of the great masters of the vibraphone, if we could spare him on the drums, we'd have Jay play vibes on this. <laughs> uh, it was a, a guy named Terry Gibbs. And this next chart was originally a vibes feature for Terry Gibbs on the vibes. But, but uh, tonight it's a piano feature for Heather. And uh, it's called Softly As In The Morning Sunrise.
skip the next one. Skip one seventy four. That was actually the that arrangement was for Buddy Rich, but it was the brainchild of great trombonist that played in the band at the time, Phil Wilson. <laughs> All right. Um, So there are a lot of great bands back in the swing era, you know, Benny Goodman, Glenn Miller, Tommy Dorsey, and on and on. And um, we were going to do two or three of those tonight, but it's taken us too long to get to this point. So I think we'll just do one of those tonight. <laughs> but this is the theme song of the great Tommy Dorsey band. It's called Opus One.
backtrack and play 175. Okay. I want to win this strip tonight. 175. We'll do it. We'll play Glenn Miller for him. <laughs> this is, uh, you know, that Glenn Miller directed the Air Force Band, Washington, D.C., for some time. And this is one that he wrote for the Air Force Band. It's called American Patrol. But if we ever needed a little patriotism, I think it's now. So here's the American Patrol. <laughs>
This will feature Heather on the piano and uh, Ryan, Ryan on the trumpet. It's called, uh, oh shoot, I was not thinking. Uh, I gotta get my flute out, okay. <laughs> this name at all, Julie Stein, Julie Stein, one of the great composers. Uh, <clears throat> anybody name any, any tunes that Julie Stein wrote? Uh, <laughs> how about Let It Snow, Let It Snow? <clears throat> but there were, there were a lot more of them. Um, for example, Make Someone Happy, you know that tune? That was Julie's time. Also, uh, the party's over. It's an old one. <laughs> he wrote the music for the musical called Gypsy, and also for the musical called Funny Girl, the movie called Funny Girl, which means he wrote the tune called People. Some of you might remember that. And but this is one of my favorite tunes that he wrote. It's called Time After Time. Thank you. 
Well, thank you for sticking with us. We're going to play our last tune. Uh, <clears throat> again, appreciation to Jeff Whiteley and the Excellence in Community. Appreciation to the Gallivan Center, to Taylor Audio, and also to uh, Dane's Music for that great piano and, and all the other sponsors that Jeff mentioned earlier. We really appreciate you. And, uh, but thank you, Jeff, for letting us play here tonight with this group. And uh, we're going to end with uh, Count Basie tune called Sweet Georgia Brown. Well, it's, that's not his tune, but it's the arrangement that Basie did of that tune. So, Sweet Georgia Brown. We'll start with Heather. <laughs>
Bye.